What is going on, everyone? This is Down Productions. Welcome back to another video today. Um, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a ramble. It's another off my head video, and uh, pay attention to that score. <laughs> just, just, I mean, don't pay attention. Don't, don't pay attention to that score because it's completely different from the second half. The first half, oh my gosh, I sucked. I I don't know what I did wrong, but I did something wrong. Probably used the PDW because I hate that gun. I suck with it. I mean, you switch off to the AN94. I think it's pretty good. Then the next gameplay, I'm using some F and FAL short gameplay action on Black Ops 1. But my Off the Head series is a series that I have here on my channel where I pick a certain thing to ramble about. Not necessarily Call of Duty or gaming wise. And I ramble about it for about 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 3, 4 minutes. Um, maybe even 5. So this topic today is going to be. On kill streaks slash score streaks, why what I dislike and like like about them. Uh, so we're gonna start if you're Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2 had the kill streaks, and that's basically you get a kill, and that's the only thing that can add to your points. And I like this because it's really traditional. It's really good traditional Call of Duty, but I mean, scorched. I mean, okay, Modern Warfare 3 got it all wrong. Because they had three things. They had support, specialist, and assault. Assault was actual kill streaks. And, you know, support was no matter how many times you died, you would still work your way up. Which was really, really retarded. Because you'd be working your way for your helicopter or whatever. And then an enemy who was like 11 and 30 will get an EMP. And it's like so, so stupid how they had their system in Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops 2 I can actually respect. Because their score streak system was actually really nice. I really enjoyed their score streak system. Uh, I think it was really, I think it was actually fairly balanced, and you know, it, it is what it is. But honestly, in the end, I think the score streaks may have been a little bit better. I mean, I do like kill streaks, but looking back, score streaks were, uh, score streaks got you to the ability to get better kill streaks, and it gave you the ability to get faster. And also, I think this is one of the main reasons why they had score streaks is because. And encourage people to play the objective. Like, in Domination, if you capture the flag, you get some XP for it, and that can count towards your score streak. But, you know, kill streaks, people just went out and tried getting kills, and that's still what I do today. I'm not one known for playing the objective. Not unless I'm like, I don't know, not unless people tell me to, I probably won't play the objective. I've never, I've never been able to play Call of Duty by the objective. I always go out there, try to get some kills. You can see I'm actually running some low kill streaks here in this gameplay. And, uh, pardon me if I'm, like, a little stuffy, um, but, um, if, uh, you can see I'm going by these low kill streaks, and that's because I was kind of playing the objective, I mean, I'm kind of trying to get a little bit of XP here, but if I was going for kills, you know, I would have my normal, maybe VSAT, maybe good old-fashioned load star and stuff, honestly, I haven't played too much Black Ops 2 recently, I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 1 uh, but yeah, I haven't really that that into Black Ops 2 recently. I've been liking Black Ops 1 a lot, actually. I've been playing a lot of that. So, you know, really, Black Ops 2, I still like it. It's just not as much right now. I, I saw that cubby hole right there on the wall. I never knew that was there. You learn something new every day. I never played this map too, too much either. I never played Meltdown much. But, going back here, um, huh, score streaks, I think, have the upper edge. But, in the end, I think kill streaks, since kill streaks were kind of what brought a new era or a new generation, I guess you could say, of Call of Duty. The skill kill streaks were what traditional old school Call of Duty was, and you know, Modern Warfare 2 brought in customizable kill streaks because uh, Call of Duty 4 didn't have those, and Modern Warfare 2 brought them in. Uh, Black Ops 1 didn't really improvise on them. I think they cut, they took away Kill Street kind of. Since Black Ops 1 was in an earlier point in time. I mean, Black Ops 1 was in an earlier time. So, uh, they didn't have too much back then, I guess. So they had, you know, Tech Dogs and Gunship as the highest. Uh, we're going to hop on, hop on into Black Ops 2 quick gameplay here. But, you know, I'm going to be using the FN, FAL here in Firing Range. Just joining in, this actually cut. This is actually an XP sort of lobby. You get 500, I think, for a kill, and I go like six and one because the game's almost over. Maybe seven, maybe ten. I don't know. 
I can't remember, but I like the FNFAL. I really like it. It's probably my favorite semi-automatic gun in Call of Duty history. Oh, and the C4. You know what would make Call of Duty some? I mean, you know what would make Black Ops so much better? Is if the C4 was part of your lethal. Like in Modern Warfare 2, when you just had to hit the right bumper to get your C4 out. Black Ops 1, you have to hit right up on the D-pad and it takes forever. So, you know... It, I mean, that's the only thing that would make Black Ops 2 any easier. Black Ops 2 is a pretty easy game, I would guess. I mean, I would think. I think it's a fairly easy game. Probably is one of the easiest of the Call of Duty. If you get the team on the right spawn point, and you have the right gun for the right map, then, yeah, you can have a lot of fun. Um, never really used FNFAL much on firing ranges, though. But I think Jungle is my, starting to be one of my favorite maps. I'm really enjoying that. That uh, map I, I got, I'm getting, I'm doing pretty good on jungle. My M16 or my FNFAL, I mean, it's really nice. So that's my little rant about score streaks and kill streaks, and you know what I think about them. But uh, in, in in the end, in the long run, they're both really nice. Um, but I think score streaks have the edge because they encourage people to play the objective. Even though I necessarily never care if we win or lose the game, I usually only care about how many kills and deaths I got. So, you know, I've never been one to play the objective. You know, when everyone first got Call of Duty, everyone wanted to win, you know, because that's what it was about. But now, that's about kills for me, at least. I don't know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Thirty-three, thirty-four, one day. Where y'all were at? Up and down.